evening. Welcome to World News Segment. I am Rosalind Eworame. Our first story is from Israel, where an Israeli American has been shot and killed in the occupied West Bank as retaliatory unrest intensifies. The 26 year old Elan Janus was killed in an attack on vehicles near the city of Jericho. He was taken by paramedics to a hospital in Jerusalem but was later pronounced dead. Similarly, more than 100 people, including children, have died after their boat sank off southern Italy. At least 63 migrants are confirmed to have died, with 12 children, including a baby. On board the boats, which set out from Turkey a few days earlier, were said to be people from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Somalia, Syria, Iraq, and Iran. Elsewhere, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has asked people in heavily quick hit areas of Turkey for understanding over rescue delays amid mounting anger at the government's response. Mr. Erdogan, who is seeking re election as president in post to be held by June, has been touring some of the worst hit areas. He pleaded for forgiveness for delay in rescue operations. The disaster, which killed over 15,000, left 1.5 million people homeless, and many thousands of people remain without shelter or sanitation. There are also shortages of tents for survivors. In another development, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has commended his deal on post-Brexit trading arrangements for Northern Ireland as a decisive breakthrough. Many conservative members of parliament, including those who supported Brexit, gave their backing to the agreements. Today's agreement delivers smooth-flowing trade within the whole United Kingdom, protects Northern Ireland's place in our union, and finally, on the world news, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has said the situation in the city of Bakhmut in the eastern front line is becoming more difficult as Russian forces have been trying to take the city for over six months. Some of the fiercest fighting to take place since Russia invaded Ukraine just a year ago has taken place in Bakhmut. Speaking about the situation, President Zelensky again called for modern combat aircraft to be sent so that the entire territory can be defended from Russia terror. That report concludes our package for the World News segment. I am Rosalind Evorame. Good night.